What's up everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. And today marks the first day of a new challenge I'm making and that's getting to 1800 in chess. I just got to 1700 the other day and today I'm gonna to try to get in as close as I can to 1800. In the next following videos, it will be the same thing. Now, if you ever wanna challenge me, I'm 1700 like I said, and I'll be down to challenge anybody if you wanna see how you fare against me. I'll give you some feedback if you ever want that. And I'm just down to play a game whenever. My username is chase3306. So. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, let's get this started. All right, we're fighting a guy named Lauren Nodej. He's Italian. Oh no, he's Mexican, I'm very sorry. Um, and he's 1571, so he's 100, 100 points lower than me, more than that. Now I'm playing the Karo Khan here. One of my favorite lines for black. If I lose this game, I'm gonna lose a crap ton of points. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, don't wanna lose, that's for sure. All right, just developing normally. Yeah, everything's pretty normal so far. All the knights are out. Yeah, bishop pin. Um, I'm gonna put my bishop here. Uh, He's going to move his knight down to the middle, I bet. So, actually, I'll just kick his bishop out now. Yeah. Take. And I bet he moves his knight down. His knight on the f3 square. He's probably going to move it down to e... What is that? e5. That's what I'm betting. Maybe not now. After he develops his bishops and he's all done with that, but... Can't even do anything against it. Yeah, told ya, called it. Oh, I can't even do that too. Um, hmm. You know what? How about I get my queen a little active? Gotta protect that pawn in c6. He's already a little bit better. I, I might have, I said this in my last video. The, uh,. I feel like always doing the Karl Khan exchange variations better, especially with me because uh, I'm not as familiar with it and I feel like a lot of people are in the same boat. They're a little more used to the exchange variation, or the advanced, sorry. The advanced is a little better just because you know what you're doing a little a lot more. Um, hmm. Now I'm assuming he's trying to get his pawn down, but uh, or, sorry, his knight down to the middle on c5, but I'm just going to check him, and now he has to bring his knight back, or he loses it, so. He also made it so I can bring my knight into the center and attack his, so, which is, I think, a lot better for me. Yeah, he had, oh, oh, yeah, that, that's pretty good, actually. I didn't even see that. Defends his knight, too. It's pretty smart. Um, all right then, well, I think I'll just prevent him from castling. And he also moved his knights, which means I can move my knight into the center without it getting attacked. And then I, and then if he, uh, and then once I do that, I can also push my F pawn and attack his knight in the middle, get it out of there. He also can't, oh, never mind, yeah, he can. I was gonna say he couldn't move his bishop, but he has his knight there. He's taking a bit of time, though. I'm half a minute up. It's starting pretty good. Huh. Uh. That has to be a misclick. Almost 1600, and he blundered his uh, blundered his knight. That's that's hard to do. That was error. That, that had to be a misclick. I'm not complaining. I'm only gonna get like five points if I win, though. It's 1571. I can't believe he's playing uh, me. I'm a lot higher rated than him. 
kind of weird. I could bring my queen up. I might do that. Yeah, just get everything out of here. He takes, I take with my C pawn. Getting it out of the way of the attack of his knight. And then I reinforce my center pawn with my E pawn. I think I'll do that. I have confirmed moves on, by the way, if you're wondering how I can uh, take my moves back. I have confirmed moves on, so I think it's pretty handy, especially since I blunder pieces so often it's crazy. That I just take. If I don't, he takes it and I can't take back. I was sick a couple of days ago, so I'll have a bit of a cough. Alright, this guy's probably gonna just start harassing me. Move his rook to beast file or something and maybe try to take. I don't know, he can't really do anything. Brings his bishop out. <clears throat> um, I could just attack his bishop right away. <clears throat> make it seem like a uh nah I didn't like that because he could if he if I moved my bishop up instead oh he's going to just take my pawn I see it's very not cool of you Um, hmm, <laughs> uh, I think I'll take, hmm, take, he takes, I'm trying to just trade everything, remember, uh, I mean, takes, takes, <sighs> don't really want to lose that pawn. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he takes my knight and ruin my structure that much right now because he only has two rooks and his queen's gone. He can't really do much about it. And if he's going to trade his bishop, that's just better for me. I mean, my king will be in a pretty bad spot, but I'm not really losing in the end. So I think it doesn't matter. Hmm. going pretty good he's up on time now uh, it's a shame what, you, what can you do about it oh yeah so he just stops me from castle and fair enough I would do the same thing <coughs> um all right I try to just I'm just gonna try to get rid of this bishop but uh it's probably not gonna do much yeah Uh, I can just, I can chuck my bishop back and attack his rook. He moves down. Understandable. Gonna go over there and try to be sneaky. And hopefully he doesn't see the fork. If I move my knight down to b3. Or if I just blunder my piece entirely, it's also a uh, an option. Can't believe I did that. That's just absolutely brutal. This is horrible. Oh no. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. This is really not good. Damn. 
I I messed up. I can't. I how did I not see that? Wow. That's that's crazy. I am disappointed in myself. Hmm. I'm gonna try not to let him take any more, right? But uh, might be a little late for that, honestly. We are tied though. I mean, he's up a pawn, so it could be worse. But I can't. I, he blundered his piece, and I blundered it back. That's so annoying. I can't. Yeah. Wow, that was brutal. Although I'm back on, I'm back up on time. That's pretty good. That's good. I don't want to lose this game. <laughs> if I lose, that's uh, what is it? It's, I don't even know. It's like nine points after twenty. Um, uh, yeah, I'd probably lose like eleven points if I lost to this guy. I have to climb all the way back up. Win another game. Mm hmm Um, yeah. Alright, I can just play a little like a uh, little game. If he go if he goes down trying to take my H seven pawn, I'll just go back and defend it. Can't really. Or he does that. Which, in which case, I can do this. Um, mm. There. There we go. Mm. Um, hmm, yeah, I gotta try to get an open file there. Huh. Hmm. Is a bishop I gotta just get rid of that bishop right there. And I will just start, I think, trying to munch on his pawns. This isn't actually, I don't think, much better for him. Uh, might be a tie. Smart. Could go down. No, take this. Ah. Mm. Maybe I'll just try to win on time or something. Uh, I'll just try to win over. Okay, 
can't even. The moment I lost that one piece, fifteen ninety nine. I'm not. I'm not gonna play him. Don't wanna have a repeat. All right, there we go. Get back. Hopefully, get uh, black again. All right. Exchange again. Equally not as good as me. I'm gonna play my pawn up first, or so he can't pin. And in fact, I'll pin him. Blocks the pin. He international. Our mood car seventeen ten. Oh, he. Um. Mm. I think I'll move my bishop back. I'm not pinning anything anyways anymore. And I'll move my F, my green bishop, green squared bishop, all the way up to d6. And I'll get a little, a little laser beam pointing right at to where I'm assuming he's going to castle. It's probably where he's going. Hmm. I'm up on time. You just take that, and that's just a trade you take. And I'll start developing normally. He's probably gonna pin my knight. Oh, everybody always does. Oh, told ya. Oh, uh, hmm. Queen side, ooh. Ooh, um, I'm gonna push my pawn first before I castle. Not, I can't be sure what he's gonna do. No castle next turn, I think. Try to open him up, you know? Got a castle though before I get opened up. So I can have a little protection. Don't want to get checked and then not be able to castle, you know? He takes, I take, I pull back, and he will take my bishop like that. I take back, and then I can have a lot of pressure. Actually, yeah, no. Hold on. I could take his pawn, attack his queen. Mm. No, he could move out of it and attack my knight. Which is not very good. Oh, I got a castle. If I don't castle, I'm going to be toast. Once I get back to 1700, I'll, I'll call it quits and then I'll see where I get to tomorrow. Like I said guys, if anybody ever wants to challenge me, you can see my name right there. I'll give you some feedback if you're lower rated and if you're higher rated, I would love to challenge you. Honestly, that would be so awesome. But if you're lower rated, I would be down for any challenge, and if I can give you any feedback, I'll give you some feedback. You might even just play perfectly and beat me too, so there's that. Which is why I prefer to play unrated, because you've already seen how I can lose games to way lower rated players than me. It's quite a quite a good skill, actually. Um, good, that's what I wanted. Now I'll go there, and I'll probably move my knight to e4, just to get it into the center, over there. And that will be good. Good for me. Oh, would you look at that. It's so good that I can attack his queen while I do it. That's... 
he also, yeah, he's got to be careful. He can't move his queen or else I will get a fork on him. That would be really nice. Um, I'm just, I'm going to start harassing him, I think. Really make sure he gets nothing. Yeah. All right. Gonna move my rook there, then I'll move my queen to uh, b4, right over there. If I can do that, then uh, can't really defend anything. He can't really do anything about that too. He has to uh, if he pushes his pawn, his uh, b2 pawn down, then. Uh, I can take his knight, and if he pushes it down twice, I can just take his pawn. He could, uh, he could move his, he has to move his king, I think. He can't even move his king because of my knight. Yeah, no, he's kind of, like, he couldn't run over to the D file. He has to stay right there. Can he do anything? Oh. No, he can't. He can't even move his queen to, like, uh, c3 to defend that pawn because of my knight and uh he can't go to you know the b file because of my rook he can't he can't protect his king at all that's why he's thinking so long i wasn't even looking at that but yeah no he's uh there's there's nothing he can do he's actually gonna get mated in the next couple of turns after queen b4 and it's like main two moves he can't do anything unless he sacrifices his queen to take my knight Still, no, he's he's done for. Yeah, he's toast. <laughs> he's uh going for a pawn break over there, but uh doesn't matter. Although now that I go there, he could also just um move now he can move his queen to the B file. It's protected by uh by pawns. Yeah. Um, although the good thing about that is now I can do the fork that I was talking about before. I said if he moves his queen, then he's going to get forked in. Would you look at that? He's going to get forked. And then I'll take his pawn right there. And after I take his pawn, I'll double up my rooks, I think, again. And I'll just keep, keep on bothering him. It's not a lot he can do. <laughs> I needed this. I needed to get back. Horrible loss last round, but this one I redeemed myself. He's 17-10, even though the last guy was 15-20. Lord, I'm also up three minutes, so even if he miraculously gets out of this, then I think I'm done. Or I think I'll win on time. I yeah, he's thinking. Hmm. He's done, yeah. Um, no, we just wait. We just wait for him to finally quit. He can't do anything. He's probably not gonna quit. Yeah. I bet he'd just run out the time before he quits. He pushes his pawn. That pawn would be nice to take because uh, it's the leading force in attacking me. Even if he just breaks all my pawns though, just captures all of them or trades everything there. He can't do much with just a single rook. Bring my rook over here. Beef's eight. Yeah. Well, wow. he's toast. Toast, toast, toast. Oh, just let it happen. I shall push. I'm gonna lock everything up. I'm not letting him, letting him in. Um. <clears throat> Feel like I should just go there.
go there. Just to be annoying. Um... I'm gonna have to get my king into the game, I think. Or I'll just... Uh, yeah, king into the game! Or I'll just... No, 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 no. B4. Rook B4. Take all his pawns. All of them. Just don't, don't let him have anything. He's gonna run. He's gonna take my pawn, but I'll take all of his. Just let it happen! Let's see here. Surrender before you embarrass yourself too much. Or before I embarrass myself too much. That's, that's really what I mean. Before I lose, please, I'm bound to mess up. And I don't want to wait another two minutes. This video is already long, long enough as it is. It's going to take all my storage. Please. Surrender, please, or don't, or just, just don't. Uh, um, hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take all your pawns, all of them. Everything you own, I will take. All right. Gotta wait here. I'm definitely gonna speed this up. It's gonna get sped up. Just for how long this has taken. I don't even know what to say. Although I will talk about how I got to 1700. If you ever wanna get to this rating, I th main thing I think is just puzzles. Do your daily puzzles, man. Those things are great. I did those a lot. I don't even play chess a lot, but daily puzzles. I also learned a solid, uh, the opening, right? Like, uh, Vienna. I played King's Gambit before that a lot, then Vienna. Then I played, uh, Scandinavian as Black, and then I moved up to the Karo Khan. Uh, and I just started playing, once I got those openings down pat, just absolutely grinded them. And, uh, yeah, it made it so I had a solid opening. I knew, like, every move, and... And then middle games and end games, I'm mostly middle games I'm actually pretty good at. End games, eh, not so much. Uh, that's just a free. Was that free last earlier? That might have been free earlier, but I can just take his knight if I do that. Was that always free? I don't know. Might have been. Um, be careful not to get checkmated. Because remember, his pawn is on h6, and I can't move up, or else it's not possible. Now it sucked to get checkmated. Absolutely humiliating. Uh, maybe again. Maybe he needs to be reminded. <laughs> 33 seconds, and he... he He's confident. He's just gonna let the clock run out. Let's see how it is. No, no, he's um. He's got to see this till the end, I see. All right, well, you can have that pawn. You're welcome. It's all yours. I don't know what you're trying to do. Oh, he's going for the, I'll go for Oh, he's really. Oh. He's marching. Can't march any further thanks to my, you ain't gonna let it happen. I see. All right, okay. Well, how about this? Point three seconds left. Um, 
Hmm. Um, I feel like I can just go. Is he pre moving? No. Did not pre move. Back to 1700. Let's keep it that way. Maybe next time I'll actually get up higher. He wants a rematch. Too bad. I don't do those because I'll lose. Anyways, I'll see you guys next video and hopefully I'll get closer to 1800. I've lost three points, but uh, it's not that much. Anyways, see you guys next time.